In the Second World War, I saw enough of combat to develop a hate for war as a means of settling differences between men. But I also know that the integrity and the word of a great nation must be maintained. If the United States finally loses its role as a great nation in this world, the loss to freedom in the Western world is unimaginable. I don't believe that Senator Yarbrough is contributing to a solution to this war. I don't believe that by his actions in this regard, he's contributing to the best interests of the people of the United States. I'm under no illusions about this being a tough race. I know that. Anytime you take on an incumbent United States Senator with all the powers of the office, but his powerful friends in and outside of Texas, and I'm sure a well-financed campaign, that's a job. Do you characterize yourself as a Connolly Democrat? I characterize myself as a moderate. And to me, a moderate is this. A moderate is a man who uh, approaches the issues with an open mind and votes them as he sees them, who doesn't try to get attached or identified with a clique or a faction. Uh, that's what I think a moderate is, and I think that's what it takes to help bring together the Democratic Party of Texas. A standard metropolitan statistical area is something Washington dreamed up. But it's something that apparently is going to be very good for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Here at the Inn of Six Flags today, Harry Worst of the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce and Warren Woodward of the Dallas Chamber of Commerce, their aides and associates, got together and agreed that Dallas and Fort Worth should cooperate even more in the decade to come than they ever have before. That includes an SMSA. When it is accomplished, what status will it give Dallas and Fort Worth in the metropolitan uh, comparisons across the United States? Well, for a few highlights. In population, where in uh, Fort Worth it'd be 51 ranking in uh, the national rankings of population, Dallas 16, we then move into place 11, the 11th largest area in the United States. On households, where Fort Worth has rated as 50 in the nation, Dallas 16, the combination will move us to 11th largest city in the, the largest area in households. Would you list for us, please, the, the major reasons you've done this? Well, marketing, the broad scope of marketing, which advertising is, is the uh, means of communicating. Modern businessmen rely heavily, exclusively almost, on, on marketing statistical data. And what we're attempting to do here is to give them the true, the accurate picture of this North Texas area. In fact, and indeed, uh, it is one statistical metropolitan area. And we're, we're simply going to combine the, the figures for Dallas and Fort Worth and make them one. And uh, the, the businessman will, will have accurate information to rely on. The final plan has to be in Washington by January 30th, or they might miss the 1970 census, something obviously they can't afford to do. And so, in 1970, if all goes well, and they expect it will, Dallas and Fort Worth will become a combined metropolitan market, as far as the numbers go, and will become the 11th largest market in the United States. From the end of the Six Flags, this is Jerry Taff, Channel 8 News. Would you place any validity to the, to the thought that this ball club lets down when the brakes go against them? Gosh, I'd hate to think so, Vern. I don't, I don't think any of my teammates have let me down. Uh, I tried not to let them down. Like I say, we're human beings. We're going to make mistakes. We made a lot of mistakes last week. I can't see that anybody's let anyone down. Coach Landry's more or less taken the blame for it, and I can't accept that either. We each, each individually, as well as uh, everyone together on the Cowboy organization, has to take the blame for losing. Uh, he's going to reevaluate the system. I'll have to reevaluate my play during the offseason. I'll have to prepare myself to go into camp again next year. You know, it's kind of a, uh, in a way, it's a letdown right now, but to be a champion, I feel you have to learn from your mistakes. You don't look back on your mistakes. If you accept the feats, you'll never be the champion that you uh, plan on being. And my goal in life is to be a champion, not to be all pro and not to be uh, the best uh, individually. I want the team to be the best. And in order to do this, you gotta you got to play like a team. So 
I've got to anticipate uh, what I'm going to do next year by evaluating my mistakes this year, and uh, if I can learn from my mistakes, we'll make the team a much better team. What are your feelings about Mr. Coffey's action? Well, of course, uh, I find it uh, pretty appalling and, and a little frightening that, that uh, a district attorney would use the power of indictment to intimidate the court. Uh, I don't know of any time in Tarrant County's history that this has been done. I mean, when you use this power to say, court, either you vote for my budget request or I'm going to indict you. Uh, of course, uh, something that was mentioned last night that I thought was a little misleading is that uh, at this get-together that I was invited to by Mr. Benson. Uh, Mr. Benson uh, told the members that were present that uh, Mr. Coffey's uh, top assistant, Jim Morgan, had been invited, but that he had to be out of town on other business. But he did know about the meeting, so I don't think it was a secret as far as Frank was concerned. Uh, it looks to me a lot like that, that uh, Mr. Coffey uh, probably should spend more time uh, worrying about criminals and indicting criminals in this county than and, and, uh, worrying about the business of the court. No other department that I know of uh, was unhappy with this. We're trying to put in a system, a classification system, that will move this county out of the dark ages and into the 20th century. Expecting to help me, certainly hope that he does, and I hope that all of the rest of these friends I've talked to will help.